What's up beautiful people, today we're going to be doing Bill Burr and this one should be a good one. You can already tell by the title, so I'm very excited, let's check this out. Soccer player, right? She goes on to ESPN or one of these sports channels and she starts bitching, going like, I don't understand, how come female athletes don't make as much as male professional athletes? <laughs> Right? And all of these men had to sit there and act like they didn't know what the answer was. <laughs> they had to sit there like dumbfounded, like, oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, why is that? Uh, that is a conundrum. I have, I have no idea. Literally, I'm sitting at home screaming at the TV because you don't sell any fucking tickets. <laughs> You're playing in a 20,000 seat arena. 1,500 people show up. That's not a good night. The promoter lost his fucking ass on that gig. I'm not saying no professional female athletes, Serena Williams, the women in the UFC, you know? But nobody's watching your fucking sport. And then you're gonna come and you're gonna get mad at fucking men. They keep doing that shit. Why are you yelling at us? It's not our fucking job. It's not my fucking job to give a fuck about women's soccer, okay? I have men's sport to pay attention to. This is your bullshit, right? Dude, look at the WNBA. Dude, nobody in the WNBA got COVID. Nobody. They have been playing in front of three to 400 people a night for a quarter of a century. Not to mention, it's a male subsidized league. We gave you a fucking league. None of you showed up. <laughs> Where are all the feminists? That place should be packed with feminists. Faces painted, wearing jerseys, slashing their titties. <laughs> Going fucking nuts like the guys do. In the upper deck with their big beard titty. <laughs> None of you went to the fucking games. None of you. You all, you failed them. Not me. Not men. Women failed. Oh my God. Ladies, ladies, name your top five all time WNBA players of all time. Come on. That's it. Name five WNBA teams. Name oh my your God. WNBA team in your fucking city. You can't do it. You don't. Give a fuck about them. They play oh night my God. out in front of nobody. It's a fucking tragedy. Oh. Wow. And then meanwhile, Whoa. you look at the Kardashians. <laughs> they're making billions. Facts. You know those Real Housewife shows? They're making Facts. money hand over fist because that's what women are watching. <laughs> the money listens. You don't want to watch this shit? You watch this shit? <laughs> They just shoot it over there, drowning these whores in money. <laughs> Purses and shoes and Botox. It's just <laughs> raining. It's raining money. Facts. Yeah. Big facts. So, Big facts. The money listens. Yep. You'd rather watch that shit. Real housewives, bunch of women just tearing each other down. <laughs> well, maybe that's why your husband left you. Maybe that's why your husband left. That's why you can't have kids, bitch. <laughs> That's why your ass is as flat as your titties, bitch, right? <laughs> That's the message you sent. We would rather watch that than see a bunch of women come together as a, as a team and try to achieve a common goal. We would rather watch them actually fucking destroy each other. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. And then in the end, you come back and you fucking yell at guys. Like, and it's like, right, don't look at this straight. I have to buy you a drink, stop the ax murderer from coming through the fucking window. And I have to watch WNBA games, watch WNBA games for you. <laughs> when are you gonna pick up your end of the couch? <laughs> hey, that was actually fantastic. That was funny. That was really, really. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. That is true though. But like to say, like it's like nobody watched the women's soccer. Really, actually attendance record for any sporting event recently 
three times have been broken by female sports, which is uh, soccer, especially soccer. So um, I don't know about anything else, but like the women's soccer is actually getting up there, you know, they stay in popularity, especially in Europe, especially. Yeah, so shout out to England for winning their Euros since the men can do it. The women had to, you know, it came home finally, thanks to the women, you know, the men can't do it. But yeah, it, it, it's it's crazy. It's crazy accurate. I, like I've gone, I've had discussion with stuff like this and it's true, honestly. Um, you know, the fact that the matter that I have grown up with a team, like we we'll go through the struggle. If a team get relegated, you know, you go through the grind and struggle with that team. You know, your emotion, you know, emotionally supporting that team, no matter what, for the good, the bad, you ride along with it. Yeah, I don't really see a whole lot of that. And and it's crazy. It's the fact that like people say, like, yo, we need equal representation. True. Facts, we do. Yes, we do. But you can't come after me or say anything when I, when when we give you guys that and then there's a team for you guys to go and go support and cheer, but you guys don't go. So I don't understand that either. Um, like, it's there. If it's a local team, you should guys we should be selling out clou- uh, crowds, especially local teams. Uh, you should be selling out a lot of crowds and all the places and stuff like that. You should be watching um when the game is on dude i woke up early as heck in the morning to watch chelsea play i'm in a different time zone i'm here in america and they play in the uk so obviously um i have to wake up to whatever time it is sometimes to watch it. if i miss it you know what i do i watch the highlights you know because i try to i try to keep up to date i watch the news i watch the breakdown of everything because i'm obsessed that's my tip. If someone is obsessed with something, they will do it. If somebody is obsessed with anything, they will do it. Like obsession is a good thing also at the same time, you know, for me, in a sense, when I'm, when I become obsessed with something, I put my mind, my energy, my time into it constantly. Like I want to be a part of that. I want to achieve something. I want to do something with it all in all instead. So, and all to say at the least that, you know, I can't really say for other people. I can't say for anything. But Bill Burr technically is right. You know, most some people might cringe at it. Most, some people might not be happy with it. Some people might just be angry about it. I understand. But at the end of the day, you know, there are guys going to um, to places, filling our arena. Even if they don't support that team, they want to go watch that game. You know, oh, oh, this team is in town. Oh my God! Even though I don't support them, or I don't support the other team, the local team, they are, they are. But this team is in town. Oh, everybody's going to the game. I want to go to the game. You know, I want to check out this team. I want to see this team play. I've done that. Shoot, I've done that a lot of time. Because guess what? Those teams sometimes those teams you don't see them around one and uh, often, and you really want to. So. It's the same recently uh, in Lambo, where Man City and and I believe it was Man City and Liverpool played. And it was like, it was crazy. No, Man City and Bayern Munich played. And it was crazy, you know. It was crazy packed. My friend went. I couldn't go because obviously, like, the drive would have been too long for me. But And I wasn't prepared for it. But I really wanted to go. But you see all my guy friends, they're just booking it and going. Pretty much, I'm just telling you, like, if you're serious about it and you really want to support anybody your local team you know a local famous a uh, female team go ahead and do it no one is stopping you honestly no one is stopping you go out buy tickets go buy merchandise buy go to concession you know do all this to support it because it's nice and it's great when you grind with your team it's such a great feeling you know you are you, you are going to be emotionally attached to it but yeah that's my thought man i'll see you guys later man